So Phil, um, why did you start Marketo? Why did that happen for you? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a combination of two things. I just love, I, I, you know, I started my career in Silicon Valley when I came out of Stanford in 1981 and went into a little Kleiner Perkins funded startup that went public in 83 and I got, you know, I was just a programmer. But I got the bug of entrepreneurialism and then I did some great companies where I was like employee five and employee seven and stuff like that, two public offerings before. But I had never created something from whole cloth. And it was in my, it was just, it was something that had to happen in my life. And as we sold Epiphany in 2005, I started to see this idea with my co-founders, John and Dave, and had to do it, knew we wanted to do it, and uh, made it happen. So interesting to think about, you know, this concept of, of, of building the perfect team which is really our focus for this, this evening's mm -hmm. presentation. And when we uh, talked about this over lunch, you talked about team in so many ways. In the early stages of the traction gap, those, yeah. that early part, what were the things that you did that were really important early on? Around team? Around yeah, me. around yeah. team, around, I mean, whatever. Well, you, you know, I heard yeah. it just yeah. as, you were, as you were preparing yeah. here. I mean, I think one of the things we did really important before we get to team is thought about how do we build a company that's going to build a great product, and an innovative product and a great engineering function and really get that right. And then directly in parallel build our go-to-market. And so I was blessed with a great co-founder, John Miller. Uh, it was, I was working with, um, with uh, the engineering team and working with the whole company. He was building marketing and, and uh, getting our brand out in the marketplace and starting to develop leads. And so literally by the day the product was ready, we had a lead database of 15,000 names. And by the day we announced that the product was available, we sold six in the first week. Now, that was a disaster because we weren't really prepared for that. It was a, kind of a good disaster. Um, but it really was very much a very conscious process that we were going to build product and go to market in parallel and have them come together, uh, and that worked out mm -hmm. really, really well. Now, on team, you know, we had to have a team ready for that. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we can talk about this. I, yeah, yeah. You know, building a perfect team, there is no perfect team, and we can talk about why that is for a while. Um, I had to hire and then fire my first head of sales within, a, I don't know, a month and a half or something like that of starting. Mm -hmm. uh, wasn't working, and uh, luckily, number two was incredibly right, and he was, Bill Bench went with me from there through the public offering, and mm -hmm. not very many sales reps go from zero to, you know, $200 million of recurring revenue, but it's quite a, quite a feat. So that was part of the gel that put together the perfect team. Mm -hmm. 